Today's video is going to be a quick tip video. I'm going to show you another use for invert switches. Now what an invert switch is, it's this right here. Looks like a radial capacitor. You have two leads and inside there are two steel balls. When this can is put in the proper position, the steel balls will make contact with the two pins at the bottom causing current to flow between the two pins. The circuit will be closed. When the can is inverted, the circuit is opened. This is a better look at the inside. Here you see the two pins. You have like a nylon plastic insulating material right here. And then you have the two balls. When it's upright, you have continuity. When the canister is at an angle, to a certain degree, it still has continuity because of the weight of the second ball still pushing on the first. That's the purpose of the second ball, is to ensure that the first ball has enough weight behind it to make good contact with the two pins. Here you see the two balls started rolling to the right away from the contacts as the can was tilted downward. And here at the sharper angle, both balls are off to the side and you have an open circuit as well. The reason why these were designed was to be an environmentally friendly replacement to using a mercury switch. The one you see right here is certainly designed for a lot more current. Now another good thing which you can use these for is what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to connect this right now to my digital meter. There you have the can. Let's put this right here. If this canister is going to be mounted in a position where it's not going to be moving around or moving around a lot, you can then mount it like you see here or you can mount it upside down and you can use it to replace a reed switch. Let me turn this meter on. Right now we have continuity. All right. When you take a small but powerful neodymium magnet, pass it over the top of the canister, the magnet will lift up the two steel balls, opening the circuit. So that's another very good use of these. You can also take the canister, invert it, make sure the leads are very short, pass a neodymium magnet close by on the other side, and have it close. So this is another great use for these inverse switches. Keep it in mind when you're working on your projects. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.